Good morning. I'm Carla Hayden, the Librarian of Congress, and I want to welcome you to this very special story time at the library. I love reading, don't you? It's so much fun to let our imaginations run wild. We're excited to be teaming up with Miss Dolly Parton's Imagination Library to introduce you to some wonderful authors who will share their stories with us. Ms. Parton's work through her Imagination Library is awe-inspiring. She and her team have given away over a hundred million books to help encourage young readers like you across the world. Here at the Library of Congress, we share that passion for developing young readers, and we know that the best way to encourage people like you to read is to make reading fun. So that's what we're here to do. I hope you enjoyed today's story time. Even more, I hope you keep reading at home and having fun. Today, you will warm up by singing some songs, touching your toes, and then get comfortable and get ready to hear stories. Now, let's get started. Welcome, everybody, to the Library of Congress for our sixth Dolly Parton Imagination Library Story Time. We're so happy you could join us and you at home. So, my name is Caroline Quant. We're going to be Featuring today, since tomorrow is the beginning of, is our annual National Book Festival, we're featuring, featuring two of our authors, Matt de la Pena and Danica McKellar. So, but let's first start with our hello song. And we do some sign with it. So, the sign for hello is you do a little salute. Yes? And then the sign for friends, we're going to sing hello friends to the tune of Hello, Good Night Ladies. And the uh, sign, sorry, the sign for friends is you take your index fingers and you hug them one way and then the other way. And then it's time, you're gonna touch your imaginary watch and then to say, you touch your mouth and then hello. Hello friends, hello friends. Hello, friends, it's time to say hello one more time. Hello, friends, hello, friends, hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Great job, okay. Let's do our classic open shut them to wake up our brains. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. One more time. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Good job. All right. So let's welcome our first author, Matt De La Pena, to come up and read his wonderful book, Last Stop on Market Street. Okay. Here we go. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Um, I'm excited to read to you from Last Stop on Market Street. CJ pushed through the church doors, skipped down the steps. The outside air smelled like freedom, but it also smelled like rain, which freckled CJ's shirt and dripped down his nose. He ducked under his Nana's umbrella saying, 
how come we got to wait for the bus in all this wet? Trees get thirsty too, his Nana told him. Don't you see that big one drinking through a straw? CJ looked for a long time but never saw a straw. And by the way, if you little guys, if you can see the straw that that tree is drinking from, then you understand the entire book. But we won't get into that now. From the bus stop, he watched water pool on flower petals, watched rain patter against the windshield of a nearby car. His friend Colby climbed in, gave CJ a wave, and drove off with his dad. Nana, how come we don't got a car? Boy, what do we need a car for? We got a bus that breathes fire, and old Mr. Dennis, who always has a trick for you. The bus creaked to a stop in front of them. It sighed and sagged, and the door swung open. What's that I see? Mr. Dennis, Mr. Dennis asked. He pulled a coin from behind CJ's ear, placed it in his palm. Nana laughed her deep laugh and pushed CJ along. They sat right up front, which by the way is one of the most important lines in the book and nobody really talks about it. The man across the way was tuning a guitar. An old woman with curlers had butterflies in a jar. Nana gave everyone a great big smile and a good afternoon. She made sure CJ did the same. The bus lurched forward and stopped, lurched forward and stopped. Nana hummed as she knit. How come we always got to go here after church, CJ said. Miguel and Colby never have to go nowhere. I feel sorry for those boys, she told them. They'll never get a chance to meet Bobo or the sunglass man. And I hear Trixie got herself a brand new hat. CJ stared out the window, feeling sorry for himself. He watched cars zip by on either side, watched a group of boys hop curbs on bikes. A man climbed aboard with a spotted dog. CJ gave up his seat. How come that man can't see? Boy, what do you know about seeing, his Nana told him. Some people watch the world with their ears. That's a fact. Their noses too, the man said, sniffing at the air. It's a mighty fine perfume you're wearing today, ma'am. Nana squeezed the man's hand and laughed her deep laugh. Two older boys got on next. CJ watched as they moved on by and stood in back. Sure wish I had one of those, he said. And if you can't see in the back, they're listening to headphones. They probably have an iPhone or an iPod. Nana set down her knitting. And by the way, if your grandmother ever sets down her knitting, you know you might be in trouble. <laughs> what for? You got the real life thing sitting across from you. Why don't you ask the man if he'll play us a song? CJ didn't have to. The guitar player was already plucking strings and beginning to sing. To feel the magic of music, the blind man whispered, I like to close my eyes. Nana closed hers too. So did CJ and the spotted dog. And in the darkness, the rhythm lifted CJ out of the bus, out of the busy city. He saw sunset colors swirling over crashing waves, saw a family of hawks slicing through the sky saw the old woman's butterflies dancing free in the light of the moon. CJ's chest grew full and he was lost in the sound and the sound gave him the feeling of magic. The song ended and CJ opened his eyes. Everyone on the bus clapped, even the boys in back. Nana glanced at the coin in CJ's palm. CJ dropped it in the man's hat. Last stop on Market Street, Mr. Dennis called. CJ looked around as he stepped off the bus. Crumbling sidewalks and broken down doors, 
graffiti-tagged windows and boarded-up stores, he reached for his Nana's hand. How come it's always so dirty over here? She smiled and pointed to the sky. Sometimes when you're surrounded by dirt, CJ, you're a better witness for what's beautiful. CJ saw the perfect rainbow arcing over their soup kitchen. He wondered how his Nana always found beautiful where he never even thought to look. He looked all around them again at the bus rounding the corner out of sight and the broken street lamp still lit up bright and the stray cat shadows moving across the wall. When he spotted their familiar faces in the window, he said, I'm glad we came. He thought his Nana might laugh her deep laugh, but she didn't. She patted him on the head and told him, me too, CJ, now come on. And the last page you see, CJ and his grandmother, they're at the soup kitchen, but they're not there to eat, they're there to serve. Thank you guys so much for letting me read to you. about community and finding value in the little things in life and in giving, yes? All right, so to now we're going to do an adaptation of Wheels on the Bus that our program director at the Young Reader Center, Sasha Dowdy, and I wrote. <laughs> so look at your programs. La 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 the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round round and round oh the wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town oh nan on the bus goes nip 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 Knit, 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 knit. Oh, Nana on the bus goes knit, 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 all through the town. CJ on the bus, he looks and listens, looks and listens, looks and listens. CJ on the bus, he looks and listens, all through the town. The dog on the bus goes sniff, 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 sniff. Sniff, 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 oh, the dog on the bus goes sniff, 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 all through the town. The guitarist on the bus goes strum, 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 strum. The guitarist on the bus goes strum, 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 all through the town. Oh, the people on the bus go clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 oh, the people on the bus go clap, 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 all through the town. Oh, the driver on the bus says, here's your stop, here's your stop, here's your stop. Oh, the driver on the bus says, here's your stop, on oh, the end of Market Street. Yeah, good job. <laughs> all right, so let's... Now we'd like to welcome up our second author, Danica McKellar, who's going to read uh, one of her wonderful picture books on math. Hello. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you so much. I'm going to read um, one of my books. It's called Good Night Numbers. It was written by me, that's Danica McKellar, and it illustrated by Alicia Padron, who also just illustrated another book that I just came out with called Bath Time, Math Time. She does great illustrations, so sweet. So how many of you guys know how to count to 10? Anybody count to 10? Yeah, you can? Yeah, very good, I know my son can. By the way, I dedicated this book to Draco, that's my son, he's seven years old, he's sitting over there. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? So this is a story about getting ready for bed. It shows lots of different families getting ready for bed and counting one to 10 as we do. And on each page, there's lots of things to count of that number. So here we go. One, good night, one fork, 
Good night, one spoon. Good night, one bowl. I'll see you soon. So we're just finishing up dinner. What do you do after dinner? Wash your hands, right? Two. Good night, two hands. Good night, two feet. Good night, two ears. So small and sweet. Do you guys have two ears? Do you have two ears? Yeah? Do you have two hands? Yeah? <laughs> Me too. All right, three. So now we're going to put away our toys. Good night, three wheels. That's on a tricycle. Good night, three cans. These are garbage cans because when my son was little, he used to love playing with garbage cans. I don't know about you guys, but he loved it. <laughs> you do? Yeah, they're fun, right? Good night, all trucks and pots and pans. And this, by the way, this is our doggy named Spartacus. He loves our couch. Four, now it's bath time. Good night, four paws on the cat. Good night, kitty cat. Good night, four froggies on the bathroom mat. You see, there's one, two, three, four. There are other things that there are four of, too. There are four buttons on this cushion. There are four little bubbles here in this picture. All right, now, it's, now we're in the bath. Five. Good night, five points. Good night, little star. Good night, five splashes. They go really far. Do you guys ever splash in the tub? Yeah? Yeah, splashy. There are probably a lot more than five splashes, right? Yeah. Six. Okay, now we're going to get our PJs on, our pajamas. Good night, six snaps. Going to snap that up. Good night, Mr. Peach. Good night, six blocks with six sides each. Do you guys have blocks? You ever play with blocks? They have six sides to them. Next, we're going to brush our teeth. And this is a calendar on the wall. Do you, do you know how many days there are in a week? Do you guys know? Seven. All right, seven. Good night, seven days. Good night, whole week. Good night, seven teeth. So clean, they squeak. Do you guys have seven teeth yet? Yeah? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, now we're going to climb into bed. Now it's story time for the number eight. Oh, how many arms does an octopus have? Do you guys know? How many arms does an octopus have? Eight? Yes. Good night, eight arms. Good night, tall vine. Good night, eight sides on the red stop sign. You guys ever seen a stop sign? Yeah, you've seen it? You have eight sides. It's called an octagon. All right, now we're going to get into bed. Nine. And there's a, little there's a little mobile here with nine butterflies on it. Good night, nine butterflies. Good night, nine bars. Good night to the moon and the countless stars. There are a lot of other things on each page. There are nine spots right here, nine squares. There are actually nine stars that you can see. All right. Anybody guess the last number? Yeah? Ten. Yes. <laughs> All right, now we're getting tucked in. Ten. Good night, ten fingers. Do you have ten fingers? Yeah? Yeah. Good night, ten fingers. Good night, ten toes. Good night to the world. And everyone knows that numbers are around us, like really good friends. Good night to all the numbers. Good night and the end. <laughs> Thank you. Math. All right, so let's do one, two, buckle my shoe. You remember that, don't you? So we're going to do some gestures. We're going to touch our toes, 
One, two, buckle my shoe. One, two, three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Oops, I think I mixed. Let's see, let's see. Ankles, knees, hips. Nine, ten. Begin again. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, and then the second time we do big fat hen. Big fat hen. Okay, I think I messed up to ankles, knees, hips. So seven, eight, lay them straight. Okay, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, lay them straight. Oh, five, six, pick up sticks, seven, eight, lay them straight, nine, ten, do it again. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up sticks, seven, eight, Lay them straight, nine, ten, big fat hen. <laughs> okay, sorry I got mixed up. All right, so we're going to continue the good night theme with a little song of thanks. And it's based on Brahms' lullaby. La la la, 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 la la la. La 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 We give thanks for the earth for the day and the night for the stars and the moon and the sun that gives up light for the clouds and the rain and the fields full of grain for the land and the sea and the flowers and trees okay good job all right so that's all we have for today and if you're in the area do please come to the national book festival it's a fabulous time all day long at the washington convention center all right so let's end with our goodbye song which is the opposite of the hello and to say goodbye, we just say goodbye, right? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you again. Bye-bye.